What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Just Cause podcast, a podcast where two cousins get together to chat and debate and compete. Perfect time to take a drink. Joey, how are we doing? <sighs> Feeling great today. Uh, ready to kick your, uh, kick your ass and some heads up. <laughs> well, it's a good thing it's not a competition. The second thing that we're doing is a competition. Heads up is just to that's, get the brain juices going. That's true. Get the hippocampus on the track. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, whatever that is. <laughs> the hippo what? Hippocampus. It's it's a part of your brain that it, that uh, fires for memory. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. One of the few things I learned in biology. <laughs> Just one of the few. Learned how but, to insect a frog. That's about it. We never did the frogs. No, that's not true. I, I did I did in ninth grade. Yeah, ninth the frog. grade biology. Uh, that was the worst thing. My partner did it. I just watched. It was nasty. I did my own form of uh, in, insecting frogs uh, back at the Alvin house. I used to ride my bike as fast as I could and <laughs> find a frog and uh, run, you know, ride as fast as I could until I got to the frog. And then I would slam on my brakes to where I would skid <laughs> to ride along the frog. <laughs> What? <laughs> Probably could be impersonated for it. Uh, uh saying that, but yeah, I used to do no that. No way. Yeah, I wasn't big what, into what uh what uh possessed you to you know, like, <laughs> did you just enjoy it? Like did you smile when you did it? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> Golly. I mean no I don't know why I did it. I mean I was a stupid kid. How old were you whenever you did this? Oh, shoot, this is 2019. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just oh, joking. Man. I was uh, 11, maybe. Oh, okay. A little, little shithead. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Frogs. What did frogs ever do to you? I, was... I love frogs. I mean, I don't... I mean... You know what, man? No. I can't remember if it were live frogs or just dead ones. I don't think I would be able to do it to live ones i don't think i think uh, they were dead i would just i mean dude i don't you're know riding a bike a lot faster than a frog can jump that's true you probably did it to a live frogs uh, uh, i don't know man i was thinking you were gonna say like oh man i dissected a frog so intricately because you were so into dexter i thought you'd be like perfectly dissecting <laughs> the frog no, no, no. Harvesting perfectly. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, but you just ran him over with a bike. So. Just ran him over with my chopper, <laughs> my uh, replica chopper bike. Are you talking about the dirt bike? No, it was that. Remember that bike I used to have with that had like the super high handle yeah. handlebars, and it was yeah. like black super and had flames. wide wheels. Yeah, man, I love that bike. Yeah, well, I felt like a badass on it till I got held at gunpoint by Caleb. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That was insane, dude. I remember telling my dad about that, and he freaked out. Rightfully so. <laughs> we were like, "It's not a big deal. It's just like it was a it was a he's holding a loaded BB gun to like yeah, I guess it, it was a BB gun. Oh my god, yeah, he did. I uh, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, my mom never let me hang out with Caleb after that. I wonder how Caleb's doing. I'm we, sure he's we doing genuinely good. never hung out with him again after that. I know. Kind of, I bet he's doing good. He was a he was a smart smart kid. He was smart. Yeah, <laughs> not always. <laughs> I mean that that specific moment wasn't super smart. Yeah, but again, we're eleven. Hopefully, he's not like twelve a gangbanger now. No man. If I had to guess, he's an IT or something. <laughs> he was super smart and super quiet. And he played video games. I think. Yeah, he played he a lot of video, into games. video games. Yeah, he's probably. Yeah, he's super smart. So I don't know. He's probably an IT or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or a doctor. Perhaps yeah. Doctor. Um, well, hey, why don't we get into some heads up? You know, well, actually, good news. We don't have any football to ruin our hearts this week or to break our hearts this Thank week. Thank God. So now we just, we got over here. We ate some Chipotle, had some coffee, and we're just recording free of any kind of football stress yeah and football worry yep so exactly now we have the astros to worry about right which I, I i worry a lot less about the astros than i do the texans same here same here 
Yeah. Um, if I cared about basketball a lot, I would worry about the Rockets a lot. <laughs> I'm I not like, worried about the I Rockets. I like basketball, but I'm not like stressing about the Rockets. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really care to watch basketball too much. Yeah. But anything interesting happen throughout this week? Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. Yep. I uh, You had a big day this week, huh? Big day. Two big days. Yeah, so we uh we got this little pamphlet in the mail a couple weeks ago saying... Hang on. Say that word again. <laughs> pamphlet? 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not like conflict. <laughs> it's just no, pamphlet? Just pla- pamphlet. 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 Yeah, no... There's no... In there. Plant... Pamphlet. Not okay, it's, so it's panfit. Pan, pan flit or pam flit. P A M F I T. What the fuck is the word? I've never seen it written down or I'm pretty sure it's P A M P H L E T. Pamphlet. I'm just not gonna say that fucking word anymore. Okay, we got, a flyer. We got this fucking flyer in the mail. <laughs> With illustrations on it, uh, and it was an advertisement. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyways, it said, you know, it's this company that's coming in town, mm-hmm. marketing as a non-profitable organization, uh, which if you ever hear that, you know that that's just bullshit straight off the top. No company ever has been a, a true non-profit organization, especially not these people. Well, non-profit doesn't mean you don't make money. Right. <laughs> what the fuck does it mean? Then? <laughs> what the fuck uh, is a nonprofit then? If if not, it doesn't make money. It uh, means it's just a company that just fails constantly, just no. so they don't make a profit. No, you think nonprofit means like charity? Yeah, it no. goes to some sort of charity. No. I do believe in those companies, but this company claimed that. They <laughs> go ahead and fucking Google it. Well, I know that like. I know they make money. I know that. Um, there's a certain, like, any organization or gathering of realistically practical and open-mindedly compassionate people who are genuinely trying to assist their fellow humans with... Do you accept um, the cookies, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm always getting that on my safari. Okay, now. sorry. This is Urban Dictionary. Wrong website to read. <laughs> Let me find a regular definition. Okay. Not intended to make profit, but makes money for a social or political purpose. So they're not like they're not like a business company that they're just trying to make money. They're trying to actually do something beneficial to the world. However, they make money in the process. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like daycares a lot of time are nonprofit. Mm-hmm. But they still make money. They charge families to watch the kids. But anyway, you're right. It is if you think of it as like a like a charity that they don't make money. That's not true. Anyway, keep going. Well, so it's it's a group. Uh, it's an organization where apparently they have a few of the founders of the company who are antique collectors. So, <clears throat> so they will. Let's just say, me and my wife found something that we had very very old antique we have no idea where it came from right uh so i do what any normal person would do i look up this item see what the what it's going for in the market okay so i kind of know like i don't want to walk into this like negotiation because i had no idea what it was going to be like yeah uh and I looked it up, and I saw a roundabout number of what it was going for online, or at least what people were posting it for on, you know, eBay, eBay and yeah, or yeah. anything. And, dude, when I tell you that I have never been like a good negotiator, like I'm, I'm terrible at it. Right. I'll go into pawn shops, and like I'll, like, you'll end up talking them down to what you're giving them. Right. I guess. Yeah. So like. I go in there with a number in my head. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to take less than this. And I'll end up taking less than that 100% of the time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway, so I go into this not knowing what it's going to be like. But I, uh, 
what's it called? I uh, went in there. All right. First off, I had to sit for 45 minutes and wait. I was the, we were the second, no, we we're the third people in line. The first couple, the, whatever they were selling, took like 30 minutes. And the second person took like 20 minutes. So we were waiting forever. And when I finally get in there, I sit down and I look this guy in the eyes and I'm like, this is not going to go well at all. <laughs> I, uh, okay. So I hand him my item and he starts, you know, sweet talking to me, you know, he just comes off as a super unauthentic person, you right. know, the, yeah, like yeah. This, the sales type. All right. He's like asking me about my, my daughter, you know, questions that he doesn't really give a shit about. Yeah. And anyways, so I just get like a bad feeling from the jump. And w- me and my wife had came in to this with a number that we would not go below, which I'll, I'll disclose that information. It was $2,000 is like the least amount we were going to take for it. Uh, so we went in there and after he does all his little tools, like he brings out all his tools, you know, looks, looks at it. Uh, he goes, Okay, so it looks here on the market we can give you three hundred dollars for it. <laughs> and I was like, I I literally like chuckled in this guy's face. I was like, No, I I can't do that. Like, there's no way. Yeah. And then he was like, What well, What were you looking to get for it? And I was like, Honestly, man, like three thousand dollars. <laughs> Just, I literally, what I Take said was, number, just add, add a, a zero, zero to it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he just looked fucking dumbfounded, bro. He was like, oh, I don't know where you're getting that number from. I mean, I was like, well, I was obviously came in here and I looked at some prices online for what people were selling them for. So like, I understand that y'all have to make a profit on this as well. Uh, well, he, then that's whenever he was like, well, we're actually a nonprofit organization. So I I then said to him, I said, okay, well, what the fuck does the market value have anything to do with this conversation? You're buying this from me for a person who collects antiques, right? Like, and anyways, so to, you know, fast forward, like, let me tell you, this was an hour and 20 minute negotiation. Obviously going to skip over a lot of the little details, but, um, my, I got my number down to 1500. That's like the least I was going to take after that. And then I get this text from my wife because she had to take my daughter out to the truck. Right. She goes, don't take anything less than 800 I get that text from her. Which I'm like, I'm not taking $800 for this shit. I got him. He Okay, so he makes one phone call to the his boss, whatever. He's like, yeah, well. Which I'm I'm fully convinced this was a fabricated phone call. <laughs> he wasn't even like, ringing. The, the, the phone fucking was... phone screen was dark. Yeah, it's okay? dead. Okay, it, it was off. I think the phone was fucking flipped around the other way and like upside down. <laughs> this guy's a fucking noob. <laughs> Anyways, he's calling. He's like, yeah. Well, I told him that. I tried to tell him that. Uh, okay. Well, I'll do that. And then he puts you know his phone away and he's like, look. I have a, a organization of collectors who are actually willing to go all the way up to a thousand dollars for this item, and I was like, "Look, man, I, the lowest I can go is fifteen hundred, and if you can't do that, then like, you know, it's okay. Like, we could just, I could just go sell this online." And he was like, "Well, if you sell this online, like, let's just look into this, okay?" And he starts telling me all these bullshit facts. He's like, "In the state of Texas." Uh, anything you sell over a thousand dollars, you have to pay taxes for. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and myself at the time, I didn't know that that was bullshit. I believed him. Um, he was like, then you got to ship it. That's going to be like $200. So by the time you, you know, everything's said and done, you'll probably be making the same amount I'm going to pay you here today. And I'm just going to write you a check. No taxes, anything. So he was trying to like, you know, sweet talk, sweet talk me. Yeah. And I was like, no, I was like, just call your person back and say, "Hey, if you really want this item, is it really worth fighting over five hundred dollars for?" Like, I mean, it's an antique item that you've been wanting. So, long story short, he did not take the fucking deal. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, just he he made two more phone calls to that person. Yeah, and I mean, it was just, and I told him, I said, like in the middle of this, like because he had two of his little assistants over there, you know. uh, in his ear, like saying shit. And I'm like, 
uh, one of the guys was like, oh, this is a this is a really good deal. This is actually a really good deal for this, $1,000. I was like, no, there's no way. And uh, anyways, I, I'm sure it's just a company that they're just trying to buy it so they can melt it and just sell it for whatever that is. But uh, we could not agree on a number, and I'm sure he's mad to this day because he tried the, and tried and tried. You're the only man to turn him down, Joey. Oh, man. he's he. I guarantee you he's losing sleep over it, and yeah. it makes me so happy because I'm – normally I would just, you know – Fold. I would fold normally, but I, I didn't on this day. And then I got back into the car, and my wife bitched me out for not taking $1,100. <laughs> So she actually ended up being pretty pissed at me. So it was even like a more terrible experience than it already was. No, it's all right, man. I mean, if it's worth the money, if it's worth a lot of money and they're trying to shortchange you, then you don't want to take that deal. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And instead of waiting to like have the patience to sell it um, online and get the full price, what we would have, we ended up just taking it to another place and got $1,300. So, Hmm. you know, it was... A little bit less than we had hoped for, but still better. And also, the people we went to were a lot nicer and more trustworthy. Chill, more trustworthy people. They probably aren't going to make much profit off of it. Yeah, but but they were pretty upfront and honest about what they were going to do with it. Like they were just going to send it to this place to get you know authenticated. Melted. Oh, melted. Oh, yeah. dang man, I don't have anything like that. Nothing, well, you nothing never know, empty. man. Like I don't know if you keep coins or collect coins, but. Man, there's some coins that are up up to like worth a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> and you'll never know it. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that is an interesting week. All right, let's get in some heads up. You want to go first or me? Uh, I want I want to go first. Like I want to hold the card up. First. Okay. All right. All right. Upside down. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, uh, this is a professional athlete who often wins his races, and he only has one testicle. Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong Armstrong. Neil oh, Lance, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, Lance. Neil went to space. Okay, I'm really glad that I read this card. <laughs> You don't know who that is? I do. Uh, however, one of my cards, I was going to say, uh, oh, this moon is really nice, and it's the same fucking person. As that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that I got that out of the way. You can go ahead and throw that card out. Okay. No, not that one. All right. All right. Uh, Audrey mistaked me for this person. In Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What an odd person to mistake you for. Yeah. I mean, we look alike a little bit. Yeah. Just dominant in the paint. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Oh, how can I make... Um, top quarterback of all time. However... However... No, it's not Patrick Mahomes. I know okay. what you're thinking. However... This guy did some hard time for dogs. <laughs> oh, no. Michael Vick. Michael Vick. He did his time. He did his time, and he was around the wrong group of people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's actually a really good person. I, I sincerely love Michael Vick. I love Michael Vick. Um, My favorite quarterback not a, of all time. Yeah, the same. Hands I watch down. his highlights for fun. Uh, I'm not a big fan of dogs, though. So. <laughs> So you probably have every Michael Vick jersey down to his fucking uh, damn preschool, huh? Yeah, when he went to prison, I was like, what do you do wrong? <laughs> okay, here you go. Ah, uh, okay. This is a fun one. All right. Two tickets to paradise. All right. Who wants these tickets? Is it Michael Scott? No. Isn't it, did he not do that? Okay. Uh... Okay, Bob Vance, you want these? Okay. Uh oh, Dwight, you also want these? Okay. Oh, is it is this a uh like a person? Yeah. Yeah. Andy Bernard? Did he do that? No. It's 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 the it's the person the or the band rather that they're 
the the tickets are for? Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That was it. Nice. Yeah, that was it. Bruce Spring- Springsteen. I don't really know a lot about him. I don't either. Just that episode of The Office. Yeah. All right, here we go. Um. Hmm. Sexually assaulted little boys. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes. Allegedly. 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 Yeah, allegedly. I saw the documentary. I did not. Mm. Alleged. Oh. Man. Remember when I had a penis? What a neat time that was. <laughs> Whoa. Um... Oh man! Well, I know Nick Miller has the says the what a neat thing, but that's not what he's talking about. Remember when I had a man back in the eighties Olympic winner? You're talking about Bruce Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner? Yes, there you Caitlyn go. Jenner. Yeah, there you go. Still, still Bruce was. though. Still Bruce. Well, <laughs> only one person on the planet. <clears throat> what was that? That was my fucking knee. <laughs> Your kneecap fell out. Yeah. Only one person on the planet is faster than this guy, and that was Yusuf from the Bradford. <laughs> uh, Usain Bolt. Yeah. yeah uh, fun, fun fact, me and Jake, uh, at the apartments I used to live at, we uh, always played football with this kid, and his older brother uh, is the, the only person to have a faster... 60 time than Usain Bolt. I think it was so, 100 meters. It was 100 meter. He was actually faster than Usain Bolt. Yeah. And we got the chance to fucking meet him live. Yeah, at dude. The we were like, we were like 10 years Bradford. old and he was like 13. And his Who? little... The Yusuf kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his little brother... Older brother. Wait. I thought Yusuf was the older brother's name. Yusuf was the kid that was we played the kid. with. Okay, so we played with the kid named Yusuf. He was like eight. He was younger than us. Yeah. And we used to like run 40s. Yeah. And like run routes and whatever. This kid was like, oh yeah, my brother's actually like faster than Usain Bolt. We yeah. like, no way. Well, his brother was in high school. He was like 17, 16. <sighs> I thought he was younger. I thought he was like 13 or 15 know, maybe. Dude. Because we were 12 and 13 and he was like older. You could tell. Oh, okay. He was like, he was definitely at least a junior in high school. <laughs> That's such a funny like. But yeah, he was, he was faster though. I'll give him that. Sure. He did come out and run for us. Not Usain Bolt. He smoked me. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, this person has a song about a piece of equipment you use outdoors. Um, also, Owen won by TKO of Chris Brown. <laughs> Is this Rihanna? That was actually more of a unanimous decision. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah. and one. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? When you get up and go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Cut that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut it out. What is it? <laughs> You could probably hear it. You probably saw it through the freaking light. No. Looking at it like a fake dollar bill. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I know. Hot dog, hot dog, hot, hot diggity dog. Goofy? No, his owner. I don't know if it's his owner. You're definitely doing Goofy, though. No. Yeah, you are. Goofy is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not as fucking familiar with the Mickey Mouse goddamn playhouse as you. Mickey Mouse? Yeah, yes. Oh, that is not his owner. Who is Mickey? I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. It. I don't know either. I don't watch it. Oh, my turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, so, um, can you come spend the night again tonight? I know it's, uh, to be the third night in the row, but, uh. I just really miss you. <laughs> come on, come on, Culkin, come on over. Is it Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank we're you. gonna have some of the same cards. We use the same fucking website. Okay, yeah, Michael Jackson. By the way, is in my top five. Like he's he's one of my goats. But 
you know, we can make fun of we can make fun of the alleged. The alleged. I don't know, man. I haven't watched a lot of stuff on it, so I don't know if I think he's innocent or guilty. But the things that I've heard is definitely like I've seen some questionable. Yeah. Like he would stay over at his house yeah. and like Yeah, yeah. I don't know though, man. It's weird. Andrew Schultz has a really funny bit on that. Oh uh, really? Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Andrew Schultz. I love Andrew Schultz, dude. He's so funny. So funny. Okay, we'll need to watch it. We need to watch it. And I don't know if we're Andrew. thinking the same person. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Keep my wife's name. Will Smith. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Shout out Will Smith. That guy's been through the ringer, huh? Will Smith. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Who has a worse marriage than him? Who has a worse, yeah, a, a life than him, honestly? <laughs> uh, this is the one that I said earlier. Oh, uh, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Wow. All right, I think we're going to get into, okay, this guy came up with the most obvious thing of all time. Oh, uh, Isaac Newton. <laughs> Yeah, we've talked about this before. The most obvious... Oh, an object in motion stays in motion. So oh, my forces. God. You fucking genius. <laughs> no shit, Isaac. How is this guy fucking... An object not in motion stays not in motion until... An Unless forced, until forced by another object. Unless you freaking push it. I wish I was born back then. I'd have been fucking smart, too. <laughs> like shit. He was just smart enough to write it down in a smart, fancy way. I guess, yeah. Like, but it, it is gravity, though. At least talking about, you know, gravity <laughs> and friction. Yeah, he doesn't mean like <laughs> push it, push it like a baseball on the floor. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting into uh, some things that I have to act out. Okay. Okay. Ready? First one. What am I doing? Uh, licking a lollipop. Yeah. Licking a lollipop. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. <clears throat> oh, this is a character or uh, rather an operator in Call of Duty. Uh, Ghost? No. Nicki um, Minaj. No. Totally savage. No. Uh, Afro. Uh Afro, yeah, he's got afro. We kind of say it in a derogatory way. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Come on, Jackie Come on. Robbins. <laughs> it is not a Call of Duty operator. It is. Jackie Robbins is not an operator. Yes, he it's is. Just a random. It's just a <laughs> random person with an afro. <laughs> Yes, it's just a random person with an operator. That's why we say Jackie Robinson. <laughs> it does resemble Jackie, does it not? It does. And it, it even has like a number 42 on its chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you probably didn't see the operator because it was like it was one limited, season. It was a limited, limited edition. Limited edition Jackie Robinson. Uh, you had to buy it like at a certain time. He's actually the first non-white operator. Yeah. <laughs> Is it your turn? My turn. Uh, it's my your turn. turn. Shit. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh, hand job. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit. Lever pulley. Uh. Uh-uh. You're gonna need to do more than that. Mm. Mm. This is all I can do here. <laughs> oh, you're milking a cow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Golly, that's a range of motion. <laughs> What's trick? <laughs> all right. <sighs> I'm reading a book. Okay. Oh yeah, what 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 is this book about? Uh, 
you, you just got to read it for yourself. I mean, it has so many great points. I don't even know which one to to, to speak on. Uh, LeBron James. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Freaking liar, dude. Alleged reader. Alleged of, uh, intellect. Alleged intellect. That's that's really. There's been a lot of things I've lost respect for. Dude, I LeBron. love the memes though. They're so funny. Which ones? About LeBron being a liar. Oh like, he's yeah, just like a straight yeah. up liar. What well, sucks, man? Because I used to be the biggest LeBron James fan. Like, especially back in his days of like going against uh, the Warriors. Yeah, I didn't like the Warriors, so I loved LeBron and and the Cleveland. Yeah, not anymore though. Not a huge fan. Yeah, such a liar, dude. It's so funny. Yeah, me and Noah laugh about that a lot. He always sends me the LeBron James lies. <laughs> lines, Does he but, like LeBron? I mean, we like how funny he is. N- not trying to be funny though. That's my that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. You ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> like the guy's like stumbling through words. He's like, oh, you know, you want to put yourself in situations that you're not comfortable in. And LeBron's like, that's my that's my favorite saying, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Who's another unintentional funny person? Like super. James unin- Winston. Jameis Winston. He's fucking hilarious. Did you see man. the interview with Caleb Presley? Oh like, yeah. Jameis- Oh, yeah. When, he was like, I think the part where I really took it too far is when I started really eating the W's, <laughs> and I tried to go to dap Deshaun Jackson up, and he just <laughs> stared at me. <laughs> <my eyes. laughs> like, that's not the fucking person to go try to dap up after eating your fingers. <laughs> He's straight out of Cali. All oh. right. Uh, whose turn? Your my turn. Yeah. All right. Is that the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> That's strange. Um, this guy, very, very talented, changed the culture, changed the entire landscape of rock music. Also, blew his brains out. <sighs> Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Damn. Kurt Cobain. Still sad about that to this day. Seriously, we weren't even alive, dude. Where yeah, but I listened to his music like when I was like 12, and I was like, wait, yeah. this dead? Yeah, I love Nirvana. It fucking sucks. All right. Shaving head. Oh, it's a person, so. (laughs) CeeLo Green. (laughs) No. Think about who has famously shaved their head. Oh, Amber Rose. No. Oh. (laughs) Famously shaved their head and became bald. Temporarily in like 2002. Britney Spears. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to back. See, this is the one I was talking about. I don't know if you're going to know. Hello, Clarice. Fuck. Not really, uh, Bell. Okay. Uh, lead actor in Silence of the Lambs. Never seen it. <laughs> okay. I'm it's Anthony gonna... Hopkins. Yeah, you don't know who that is. No. Okay. Well, fuck. I don't know who that is. I know DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great receiver. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. Ten. Okay. Maybe we accidentally did your your turn twice. Yeah. Anyway, who cares? Yeah, that definitely had to happen. Oh, okay. I really like that game. Me too. I really think it gets the gets it going. Okay. Now we're going to go into finish the lyrics, 2000s. Okay. Okay. How do you. So we never decided on what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. So we can either both try and finish the lyrics at the same time, and whoever gets it gets a point. No, I don't like doing that. What do you want to do? One at a time? Yeah. Like you do one, and then I'll do one. Okay. And then I'll keep track of points. Okay. Okay. Um, It's going to sound weird on the video, but. We'll probably you'll probably be able to hear it still. Okay, um, who wants to go first, me or you? Or do you want to go first? <laughs> you go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, like how you asked, it. who wants to go first? <laughs> me. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, since no one's off, just me and you in here. Fuck. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. All right, I'm ready. All right, three, two. One, this is you. Okay. I'm not going.
I'm addicted to you and I'm toxic. <laughs> toxic. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Nope. It was your toxic. I'm slipping under. Okay. Joey, zero. Okay, my turn. Mm, I'm gonna I think it's we kiss, we make up. I'm gonna get zero on this one too. Kiss, we make up. We, I don't know the song. Oh, okay. So nothing, super close. Nothing that I said. <laughs> said that super close. The the only road that I have ever known. <laughs> um, shout out Green Day. Yeah, they might be the only people that we know in this whole on this whole thing. Yeah, um, it's an ad right now. Um, I'm a big Green Day fan. All right, here you go. See if you're right. Nope. Oh, sure enough, you're right. <laughs> oh no way. All right, Joe, you get one. Yay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Not in my head like, yeah. Move in my hips like, yeah. So I put my hands up. I, fun fact. Fun fact. Back in the day, I actually wrote down all the lyrics to this song and memorized the entire song from start to finish. I remember you doing that. Why did you do that? I liked it. I liked. It. I liked Miley Cyrus. <laughs> She's good. She's I don't good. really like her anymore. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Ready? On the radio, the stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know. Yeah, that's right. I Let's go. Two points. Two points for Joster. Good job. Two Thank to one you. right now, you. <clears throat> All right. I'm not giving a thumbs up until they subscribe to our channel. <laughs> gonna go all night. We gonna light it up like it's dynamite. All right. Two for me, I think. Yeah, that's a fucking toss up right there. <laughs> Hang on, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. You want me to restart it? Yeah, restart it. Oh Oh, my god, I love this song, bro. Would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies. (laughs) Fuck, man, I don't. I don't remember. Lit up the world when we fell asleep. Right? Not what I thought it was. Please take me away from here. Wow, dude, that's a big that's a that's big That's a big miss. loss right there. Tonight we going to fight till we see the sunlight. Freaking banger, dude. That's 3 for Jakester. Ooh, close enough. What did you say? I said we going to fight instead of I'm a fight. Ah. Can't give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I'm taking score. I wrote a song for you. Fuck, man. You don't know it? I don't know it. I think it's in all the things you do, but I could be wrong. And it was all yellow. Oh. Wow, crazy. dude. I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Same thing. We wrote that song down. We memorized the entire thing. Dude. I, this is my go to song. I know. I remember. Uh, sing it too. Put Audrey to sleep because it's the only song that I know all the words to. <laughs> Dang, bro. Chill out. 
They seem desperate here. Oh. Turning into the sea. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, go back. I thought it was your turn. Mm -mm. Okay. This reminds me of Nashville, though. Mm -hmm. All of us. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, man. Singing something lullabies, but I don't remember. Singing mystic lullabies? Joking on your alibi. Did I get it or no? What is it, words? Swimming through sick alibi or lullabies. I said mystic lullabies. <laughs> Can't keep broke, got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPod stuck on replay. <laughs> oh, <iPod>. yes. <laughs> Very nice. Your words to get were na 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 every day. Hey, dude, you decided to go first. I do. Fuck, man. I should have oh, said you. You're going to get this 100%. But in the end. Nothing that really matters. No. 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 We'll restart. Think about it even more in your head. Okay. No way you missed that, dude. We used to sing this song all the time. <sighs> we got so far, but in the end, didn't really matter. I'll give it to you. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Okay. Yeah, I gave it to you, though. Jeez, bro. You got three. Finish the lyrics to the song. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes I wonder. I... Ad. It's an ad. Guess what? Not skippable, either. <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds. But I think I got it. I think. I don't really know this song very well. Uh, sometimes I wonder. Mm. You're not going to give it to me? I said sometimes I wonder, and she said, and now I wonder. No, I mean, that's a <laughs> different lyric. Okay. And yes, so... Not Some exact. queso. Not exact. Some queso. <laughs> <laughs> Cilatro. I don't know. That's, uh, so it's actually all in English. She says, <laughs> all the attraction, the tension. Don't you see, baby, this is perfection. Hmm. Big words there. You said in queso. <laughs> the body world. Life is plastic. It's fantastic. You can comb my hair. Six. Unless I got it wrong. What is the words? Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You said life is plastic. <laughs> I'll take one off. All right, good. I'll just try to make it a game here. Okay. You want me to restart that? Sure. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. All right, here you go. I don't know it, so. I don't either. Was it Backstreet Boys? Who is that? Britney Spears. Oh. It's a female, actually. All right, my turn. Interesting. She's cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. Great job. Thanks, man. Great Make job. sure it's exactly correct with the apostrophe. Caden would have castrated you if you didn't get that right. <laughs> I got that right for Caden specifically. Never heard that song. <laughs> At least try it. Who sings that? 
Um, I actually don't know. It didn't say. When you stand under my What'd you umbrella. Say? What'd you say? When you stand under my umbrella. Wrong. Oh. You can, you can stand. stand under my umbrella, baby. <laughs> okay, it's six to three. I could afford to miss a few words here and there. What you said. Wrong. It's what you say. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. What you say. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so different about that place. Mm. It's pleasant, not different. And now we got six to three, me. Nothing you can't do here in New York. I think there's nothing you can't do, but I'll give you a point. Ooh, you got some words wrong, but I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to be gracious. Or, uh, uh, uh. Sure. Yes. Taking its toll on me, she said goodbye too many times before, right? Yep. You can't debate that one. How that much longer word in the video? Word. We're like halfway through? Ish. Okay, good. I got time to catch up. You want me to restart? Yeah, that's a good one. You should get that one. I think you need a new one. You got to add in the words before she says that. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your girlfriend. Hey, hey, you, you. I think you need a new one. I don't know if I can give it to you. What? It's Why? Like, because you need to say the words before she says that. Okay. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your girlfriend. No way, no way. I think you need a new one. Hey, bro. This freaking ads, bro. I hope they're getting paid out the wazoo for these ads. Yeah, on the shorter YouTube videos, they put a shit ton of ads. Do our videos have ads? No. We don't monetize. We dope. What does that mean? We don't get money from YouTube. They do. Oh, people. Okay. And they're like, it's better than yours. They're like, uh, damn right. It's better than yours, I think. <laughs> wow. 100% got it right. Yeah. Damn, dude. Oh, you got this. I'm not going to happen like that because I ain't no hollaback girl. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no holla back, girl. There I think you go. It, it ain't. Maybe it's I. Oh, it is I. You got it, bro. What? What? It ain't no holla back, girl. Me, Jake. <laughs> no, don't even know what holla back, girl is. I do. A girl that's gonna holla back, I guess. Yeah. Oh fuck! You, you gotta never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself. Ah, uh, you're so lucky it gave you the only Eminem song that you know. <laughs> wait, the one everyone wait. fucking knows who don't even listen to rap. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We can do an Eminem one, and I guarantee you I will win every single round. I bet you $1,500 you would not. <laughs> 15 I won't go anything lower than 2000 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here, your turn. When she does it like this. I can do it like that. <clears throat> I'm just waiting on what the real answer is. You're on the right track. <laughs> but it's not correct. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. uh, take no more. No more. It cannot wait. 
I'm yours. Got it. This is a not. This is not a fair game. You got this one, bro. Hundred percent. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna. We gonna. Hang on, pause it. We gonna sip Bacardi like it's your birthday. That's correct. See, cause the reason I'm bad at this game is because you can attest to this. I've always been bad at saying the real lyrics to songs. Like <laughs> I'll just find that melody and just fucking just say whatever the hell I yeah. want. <laughs> You would always correct me as a kid. I fucking hated that. Yeah, Jake, go ahead and get this one. I've heard the song, obviously. Everyone has. But right, I don't know the, but I don't then know you the know lyrics. the words then? No. Yeah, you. It's all right. I have ten right now. You have seven. Okay. Ooh. I am for real. Never meant to break, or never meant to, hang on, rewind it. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. Never meant to make your daughter cry. All right. I don't know, actually. It is right. Okay. It's right. What? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, you got it. It's eight. You didn't say the second part. I did. Seventeen, I did. Never heard this song, nor do I recognize the person that is in this picture. <laughs> so, didn't get it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. No! No! <laughs> No, Mary J. Blige. Let's for get you. it poppin'. Honey, 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 this is <laughs> for real. Let's go. <laughs> I guess that was the wrong part of the fucking song. Ooh, what? That was it. What was it? That was the last one. No. Yeah. You said it was halfway through. That was seven eighths of the way through. Seven eighths, bro? No, it was like it was like three quarters that point so what was the final score 10 to 8 <clears throat> you want to do all or nothing sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> okay guess i have no other option pass it up with the things you say <laughs> man that was close <laughs> all right come on Uh, it's how to feel like my I'm... life is a damn shame. Um, fuck game. <laughs> God, fuck, dude. Suck. Is it your turn now? No, it's it's whoever gets it. So you didn't know that one either. No. Okay. Okay. No. Um. Well, I mean, uh, room. We already we already missed that one. Okay, next. one. Motley Percocet. Chase mask it. Mask off. Never Fuck chase it. it. Mask off. Oh, good. We, neither of us got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne. All she want to do is party all night. Roxanne. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I win. What? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Well, you already fucking said the whole part. I couldn't just say it again. We're supposed to sing it together. You were too focused on grabbing that vape of yours. <laughs> Dang, bro. How does it feel to be a loser? Anyway, I win. Quite accustomed to it. <laughs> uh, finish lyrics are fun. Those are fun. I, I like doing those. I also like guess the song. So we need to do that another time, too. Let's do guess the movie. You'd win every time, but we can do it next time. Okay, I just want to play something so I can fucking win. I've always been more of a of a music person than you, but you're more of a movie definitely person than me. Yeah. You probably named the movie based on the freeze frame. I could. I I I suck with movies, man. It's all good. Everyone has their gifts. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, music is just not mine. Yeah. I like, yeah, I just don't know the words to songs very well. Yeah, well, then that's not a good game for you. It's hard of hearing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because you don't pronunciate your words already. <laughs> so. Yeah. So whenever I hear words uh, that aren't well articulated well. Yeah, I'm like, what is that? What is that word? Yeah, we tried the, we tried literally, the, we what tried is that? the Gunna song, the F you mean, honey, when when we come in the nerd, we come in the nerd. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's saying. No one does. I don't. No way. It's like Lil Pump, dude. I have no idea what he's saying ever. Lil Pump has some bangers though. Sure. I wish he'd make some more music. What the fuck happened? Sure. You know who just dropped a new song? Actually, who? Designer. Really? Speaking of people who can't pronunciate their words, it's not very good. I didn't like it. It's not. It's not like outlet or like twenty eighteen designer. It's not like that. Damn. Anyway, all right, guys. This has been the Just Cause podcast. We got more games coming in uh, the coming weeks. We're also going to do a little bit of a sports challenge in the coming weeks as well. So stay tuned for that. Be sure that you are uh, subscribed to the YouTube and uh, that you're watching on YouTube or at least on Spotify because the video makes things better. But we will see you next Sunday.